Hey there, um, I have an update about the plaque. So, um, I, okay, so if you've, if you've had dental problems your whole life, you have probably um, not chewed gum for years. And that's been my case for a long time. I was so scared to chew gum uh, for fear that I would lose a crown that I never, um, I never chewed gum. So it never really uh, comes, occurs to me to, uh, gum just isn't in my head, right? So um, when I was thinking about plaque, I thought, oh, you know what? Um, I wonder if, um, wow, this video makes my head look really tall at the angle that I have. I never noticed that. Anyway, um, I have gum now. And to be honest with you, it's gonna be really hard for me to get accustomed to chewing gum because I, I, I stopped chewing gum probably, I don't know, 20? And it's funny because I grew up with a mother who chewed gum nonstop. And it never bothered me. I mean, like I didn't think I wish she'd quit chewing that gum. <laughs> she always did. And she had that trident, that those little teeny pieces of trident. And uh, if I were going to chew gum back then, of course, I would chew like juicy fruit or something that lasts like one minute and you chew it until the flavor's gone and you throw it away. So chewing gum is not natural to me. But I was thinking the other night about plaque and about um, something I heard years ago about xylitol. So I, I Googled xylitol, and it seems that xylitol makes a hostile environment for the bacteria that uh, causes plaque, I guess. Um, I may be wrong with that, but, but in any event, uh, xylitol is helpful for the prevention of plaque, apparently. So, uh, I'm adding it to my arsenal, and I'm gonna try to teach myself to chew gum, um, you know, constantly. Um, not while I'm in meetings, <laughs> or, or talking on the phone, or something like that, but I'm gonna try to keep it. And, and it also, I think, um, for those of you who have dry mouth, it'll help you with your dry mouth. There, I mean, my doctor, when he was uh, fitting my teeth, he would um, have gum. Because what would in inevitably happen, if, if something didn't feel right, I would notice it when I ate. So he would always give me a piece of gum, the hard, hard pieces of gum, the little pieces of trident, the hard ones. And I had to like... But it was crazy because that's how we would test the way these felt in my mouth. So you can chew gum with them. There's no problem at all. The problem is getting used to chewing gum because it, people with dental problems don't typically chew gum for years. I mean, for pe people who have dental problems to the extent that you want all your teeth pulled out. <laughs> I mean, you know, maybe people that perceive that they have dental problems chew gum, but people like me that had all crowns, I, I didn't want to chew gum because... I knew that it would pull one of my crowns off potentially, even though gum isn't really sticky. It doesn't stick to these teeth at all. Um, this is the gum. I don't even know if they still make it. It's the Mentos Pure. It's really good and it's not hard. Um, it's, it, it's soft straight out of the thing, but I don't know if they make it anymore. I bought this probably at the dollar store. <laughs> <laughs> and probably at the 99 cent only store, if you're familiar with those stores, they carry a lot of closeout items. So these, this gum may not even be made anymore. Let's see when it expired. Oh, it expired. It expires in 2021. So maybe they make it. It's really good though. And I'm not a big fan of peppermint gum because I usually find the taste goes away too fast. But, um... But this is really good and it's soft uh, to where you don't have to like feel like you're chewing really hard. Um, I don't know how long the xylitol lasts. Like at what point 
do you swallow all of it? <laughs> and the benefit is no longer there. So like eventually you're just chewing on the actual gum with the flavoring, but I don't know if the xylitol lasts for just a short while and then it goes away. So you may not need to chew the gum constantly. Um, I also noticed there are xylitol mints that uh, I picked up I picked up some after I had the surgery because I was concerned about, I don't even remember, maybe I had the same reason back then. I don't know. I, I think maybe I did have that same thought. It's so funny. If you ever watched Judge Judy, she's like, if you tell the truth, you don't have to try to remember. But that's not really true, right? Because I can tell you that from the start of this process, um, I have a hard time recalling details. Like I can get the basics right, but somebody on um, somebody added a comment to my last video about how I paid um, for it, and I can't remember. I can't remember if I paid it in three payments or in two payments. Um, I, I don't. I just. I don't remember. <laughs> and. Um, what else could I not remember? Um, uh, I can't remember what I can't remember. <laughs> um, anyway, so I don't think it's true that if you're telling the truth, you can always remember because I don't remember. Hell, I don't even remember why I went in the kitchen, much less remembering extreme details. That's what's so funny about rewatching my videos is that I don't remember feeling that way, but that's what's so valuable about them, right? Because at the time it was real to me. It was, um, I, I, I didn't like this or I was concerned about that or, or whatever. And now it all seems like I've been happy the whole time in my head. It seems like it's always been like the best thing ever, but I had doubts, right? When I was starting out, you're, you worry and you have doubts about what you're doing and whether you um, are doing the right thing or whether you're happy about something or something feels weird or you're concerned about this or that. I mean, it's normal to have those feelings. And, uh, and it's like having a baby, right? You have a baby. I don't remember the pain. Um, any of the pain. I don't, I don't remember any of the pain at all. Uh, I did have an epidural, but I had an epidural. I was already, um, I, you know, I was like way into it. So I was probably six hours into labor, but I don't remember any of the pain. Just like they say, must be something to it. So, uh, so anyhow, that's it. Chew gum. You can chew gum now uh, if you have these teeth and it doesn't hurt your teeth at all and I guess it keeps your breath minty fresh and it may or may not help with plaque but it's a beautiful thing that I can chew gum now. See ya. Have a great weekend.